Twister OS version 3 has been released and works on the Raspberry Pi 5, 500, as well as the Pi 4 and 400. Twister OS is built on Raspberry Pi OS and includes custom tools like Theme Twister, Chromium Media Edition, and Pi Apps and Pi Kiss. It excels on the Pi 5 thanks to full 64-bit support, improved graphics handling, and desktop-style theming which can mimic Windows and Mac OS user interfaces. In this video, we'll install Twister OS to a micro SD card and check out its features. I want to express a huge thank you to the developers at Pi Labs for creating this impressive build. I placed timestamps below. If there are sections you're already familiar with, you can easily skip around. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. <music> To get started, let's visit twisteros.com, then click the Download Now button. We'll see the download link for the Raspberry Pi 4 and 400 and 5 and 500. Below the image, click the download link to start the download. It's a little over 3.8 gigabytes, so it may take a few minutes to download. If you don't already have Pi Imager installed, visit raspberrypi.com forward slash software. Pi Imager will allow us to write the Twister OS image to a micro SD, SSD, or NVMe drive. Scroll down a little bit and you'll find the download link for Windows, Mac OS, Ubuntu x86, and the command to install Pi Imager to the Raspberry Pi itself. Click the link for your OS of choice. I'll select Windows. Now just follow the installation prompts for Pi Imager and click the finish button. For installing Twister OS, I'll be using the Retroflag Dreamcase from my prior video. I'll also add a keyboard, mouse, and clone Xbox 360 controller, along with this Lexar 1TB micro SD card. If your computer doesn't have an SD card reader, you could use a USB reader like this one to write the image. This one has a USB-A and USB-C ports, which comes in rather handy. At this point, we'll assume the image for Twister OS has already finished downloading. Click the Choose Device button within Pi Imager. Select Raspberry Pi 5. Click the Choose OS button. Scroll to the bottom and select Use Custom. Locate and select the image you just downloaded for Twister OS and click the Open button. Under Storage, click Choose Storage. Select the storage media where you would like to write the image. In this case, I've inserted a 1TB micro SD card into my PC, so I'll select that. Then click the Next button. When prompted to apply OS customization settings, select No. If you're sure you've selected the correct storage device, click Yes. The Twister OS image will then be written to the storage media and then verified. Once complete, click the Continue button, and then you can exit Pi Imager and safely eject your storage device. Now take the micro SD card that we just imaged, insert it into the Pi, and power it on. Now we'll transition to video capture and take a closer look at Twister OS. When Twister OS first starts up, there is a friendly wizard to step you through the setup process. Click Next, and you're then prompted to launch Raspberry Pi configuration to set your password, time zone, language preferences, and Wi-Fi country. Click the Let's Go button, and if you want, you can change the password or host name on the System tab. The default login and password is Pi Raspberry. I'll leave the defaults for now, but I'll verify the rest within the Localization tab. Click each of the buttons here to make sure that the locale, time zone, keyboard, and Wi-Fi country matches your location. All of these were set properly for me, so I'll just click the OK button. Now click Next to move on to updating Twister OS. Now before you can update Twister OS, we either need to connect an Ethernet cable to the Pi or connect over Wi-Fi. In this case, I'll use Wi-Fi. In the upper right, Click the network icon, then hover over available networks and select yours. Mine happens to be Lucas, so I'll select that and enter my Wi-Fi password and click the connect button. 
After a brief delay, you should now see this connection established notification. One thing I found a little odd is that this don't show this message again seems to always appear after logging back in to Twister OS. I'm not sure if that's by design or a bug, but something worth mentioning. Anyway, once connected, we're ready to check for any updates. Click the update button and we're currently running 3.1.0, which is the latest version of Twister OS. We're all set. Just click the close button and click next. One of the really interesting features of Twister OS is its ability to reskin the look and interface using themes. I'll click Next, and there are 9 primary themes, and 15 in total if you include the variants in light and dark versions. To change the theme, click the text below the image for the name of the theme. I'll select Twister Plasma Dark. The terminal will appear, just press Enter, and Twister OS will apply the theme and log you out. Log in again using Pi as the username and Raspberry as the password, and the new theme will be applied. Since we didn't complete the setup wizard entirely, you'll see the dialog appear again. Just click Next through each of them, and then the Get Started button. After that, you won't see the dialog on the next login. If you'd like to change the theme, there is a desktop icon for Theme Twister. Just launch it, select a new theme, press Enter, and the new theme will be applied. This one is Twister OS Lite. Here's Twister 95, which is a throwback of Windows 95. I think it's really impressive how closely the UI resembles Windows 95 from back in the days when the start button was an amazing innovation, at least at the time. If you're a fan of Windows XP, you'll be right at home with the Twister XP theme. Windows XP was released in October of 2001 in the most popular Windows operating system. Twister 7 brings back the look and feel of Windows 7, another one of Microsoft's most popular versions of Windows, and released in October of 2009. You also have Twister 10 for Windows 10 fans. And as you might expect, Twister 11 provides the look and feel of Windows 11 on your Pi. Mac OS users aren't left out either with iTwister 10 that looks much like Mac OS, as well as iTwister 15. Here we quickly took a look at the majority of the available themes. Several are available in either light or dark variants to suit your preference. In earlier versions of Twister OS, LibreOffice was pre-installed, but it wasn't with this version. No worries, you can just launch recommended software select LibreOffice under the Office heading, and while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and grab VS Code also, which is one of my favorite development environments, then click Apply. You can then jump into LibreOffice Writer to create a document, or LibreOffice Calc for some spreadsheet stuff. The LibreOffice Suite is an excellent alternative to Microsoft Office, or Office 365, and supports many of the core features you might want. And perhaps best of all, it's completely free. There are a number of useful applications and utilities pre-installed with Twister OS, including the DOSBox emulator, Gparted, PyImager, as well as Wine, which allows you to install and run Windows applications under Linux. For example, one application in Windows that I use fairly frequently is WinSCP. There isn't a native Linux port, but no worries, we can run it using Wine. Just download the executable from the website, right-click the executable, and select Open with Other Application. Then select Wine Desktop. Just follow the installation prompts as if you're running Windows. Launch the application, enter the host name, user, and password, and you're in. Using Wine allows you to run many Windows applications. This is just one example. Another utility is Disk Usage Analyzer which allows you to graphically see what folders are consuming the most amount of space on your Pi. The UI is very intuitive and allows you to click on the areas that are consuming the most amount of disk space to help you determine where you may want to go free up some space. Chromium Media Edition will allow streaming of DRM protected video and audio content like Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and others. In this example, I've muted the audio on Netflix to avoid getting flagged for copywritten material. 
but the audio plays and sounds just fine. YouTube Video Playback performs well under Twister OS at 720p. With stats for nerds enabled, there were only two frames dropped in this test. However, at 1080p or HD, there was a more noticeable drop in frames, while the video playback seemed good visually. When it comes to unofficial app stores, there are scripts for installing PyKiss and Py Apps. I highly recommend trying both out. I have a dedicated video on Py Apps that goes into much more detail than what you're about to see here. I'll place a link above. With Pi Apps, you can install hundreds of applications on your Pi, many with complicated setup procedures that have been simplified into a single install button. For example, Inkscape can be installed to create some impressive artwork, or in this case, not so impressive artwork, but it runs very well on the Pi 5. Additionally, if you'd like to run AI, or more specifically, various LLMs or large language models locally on the Pi, then Olama GUI is a good choice. After clicking install, you can then browse the library of LLMs and choose one that is around 1.5 to 3 billion parameters for best performance, such as DeepSeek's R1 1.5 billion model. Copy the model from the link and paste it in the Olama GUI and download the model. Select the model, type in your prompt, and send. Here I'll ask it to create a Python program to generate a random number between 1 and 100. I can then launch Visual Studio Code, paste in the code created by the LLM, and run it. This is just one simple way of using Pi Apps to simplify things. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of Twister OS for the Raspberry Pi. I could go on about Twister OS, as it's one of my favorite OS's for the Raspberry Pi. Have you tried Twister OS? If so, comment below and share how you're using it. Also, please click the like button to let me know that you enjoy this type of content, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to talking with you again very soon.